Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I am Holly Lenora and today I'm so excited because we are doing a full face of Huda Beauty. I am too excited. I love Huda. I think she's awesome. I watch her on YouTube, um, her talking about her story, how she started out with not much at all and now look at her. Uh, that's amazing. That just goes to show if you have a dream, keep pushing you'll get there to start i do want to say i have moisturized my skin with the tatcha dewy skin cream as well as you already know if you've been watching me for a little while this is lumify i love these eye drops it's the first thing i do in the morning they make your eyes white and bright and fresh and awake what's not to love all right so let's get started but don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and hit that thumbs up button if you are excited for a full face of Huda Beauty 2. This is Huda's primer. It is the Complexion Perfection. I like the top on that. That's nice and convenient. Oh, it smells nice. It's always nice to give your face a little massage. Let that blood start flowing. Put some color back into your skin. And look at that, just like that, rosy cheeks. Blood is pumping. Okay, next we're gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Foundation. This is in the shade Custard. Uh-oh. So this may be too light. Um, let's keep pushing. That may be too light, but we'll find out. So I'm going to stop right there for obvious reasons. Um, so clearly that's too light. I am going to wash this off. What to do, what to do. Okay, we're going to push through this. Nobody panic. We're just gonna use concealer and it's gonna be okay. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that that scary scene is over with, huh, whoa, too light. Um, I will say that that is a full coverage foundation. It does have a slight scent to it. Next time I'll just have to get the right shade. Whoops. Okay, so very quickly, I am going to reapply her primer. I like this primer so far. It has a really tacky feel to it. And that's always a good promise, in my opinion, that it's going to hold really good to your makeup. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Concealer. This is Huda's concealer. It is the Overachiever Concealer. I have two. I have the shades Cookie Dough and Cotton Candy. And you know what? We're just going to work with these. I'm going to take Cookie Dough. And these do have a Zamac tip on them, which is a really cool concealer feature. Um, it has cooling properties in it that help your skin. And it helps your concealer go on smoother. So I'm going to pull out the concealer a little further than I normally would if I were to have foundation on and we will blend it out. Now I'm going to go in with, did I say this shade was cookie dough or did I call it cotton candy? 
The first shade I put on is cookie dough. Now we're going in with cotton candy, which is a few shades lighter. And we're going to bring this on the innermost corner of our eyes. And blend that into cookie dough. The names of her concealer are so cute. I cannot believe that foundation was too light. And sometimes I feel like I could have made it work with a lot of bronzer, but uh, that, was, that was pretty scary. I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender and go right in. I'm gonna bring the concealer onto my eyelids because it covers up the discoloration on your eyelids and Concealer can also work as an eyeshadow primer. Push it into the sides of my nostrils really good. How rude of me. I forgot to zoom y'all in. I'm just awful. I'm sorry. Now you're all up close and personal. Let's get back to blending. I am noticing it is oxidizing, which sometimes ends up okay, but other times you can put on a full face of makeup and walk out the door and you are a completely different race. Okay, so concealer's on, it is full coverage. She is looking very airbrushed, mm-hmm, <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm glad I didn't didn't keep pushing with that foundation because this this looks okay. We can work with this. We're still in the safe zone. On to the next product. We are going to contour, or as Huda calls it, Tantor. Her contouring cream. I have used it before. I really really enjoy this stuff. I think it works really well even for beginners. I'm gonna take a clean side of my Blendiful and go right in. And mine is in the shade light. We're gonna really sculpt the face today. For Huda, of course. We're gonna get under the bottom lip. Just a little bit of bronze under the lip can make your lips appear more poutier. It produces a shadow underneath your lips, which of course makes them pout out a little bit more. Now we get to blending. Always buff up and back. going to shape up this hot mess right down here that we just blended so don't you worry okay and to really add some structure to our contour we are going to go in with a small it just looks like a painter's brush but this is the it brushes 212 concealer brush but just because it says concealer don't mean you got to use it just for concealer makeup has no rules and you're going to find under your cheekbone which normally you can find it if you do a little smile and we're going to just lightly brush a thin line lightly and we're going to do the same thing with the other side lines are on and flip your brush over 
and start pulling that line down just lightly. And buff it out. And I know it still looks bad right now, but makeup is a process. Just give me some time. Now we're going to take a beauty blender and press it into the skin. And as I said, we are going to clean up the contour, shape it up, not make it look so, well, whatever the word is, I don't know. Um, yeah, we're gonna clean it up. We are, also, what is wrong with me? We are also going to go in with a little more on this same brush and we're gonna sharpen up our nose. Of course, if you already have a short, sharp nose, you don't have to do this, but Create lines right where your nose starts to go down. Also, if you connect those lines to that, the tip of your eyebrows, the innermost part of your eyebrows, it really shortens your nose. So I don't want to do that, but feel free and put a stopping point right at the tip. And we just blend that out. Pulling down. I would rarely ever tell you to pull down when you're working with your face, except in this situation. Now we have a clean, sharp looking nose. It is very sculpted. I'm gonna add just a touch more to be dramatic. Okay, now it is time to clean it up. Okay, now we are going to set everything, sharpen everything, make everything look a little bit more fierce using Huda Beauty's setting powder. This is her loose setting powder in the shade Banana Bread. Get some. God, this is what it looks like. It does have a scent. A lot of her face products have scents which I don't mind to an extent. Like this is a soft scent. The foundation was a soft scent. Clearly I took that off, but I always think, so I'm just adding scent after scent after scent on my face. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. We are going to take the backside of the Blendiful, fold it and dip it right into her setting powder. and go right below your contour. That's going to sharpen everything up. That setting powder is going to hold your makeup in place. So now you've got your primer on, setting powder locks it in place, and then to end everything with setting spray, your makeup will stay put no matter if you're going out for a night of dancing, going to work, your makeup is in place. Some people also put setting powder at the crevice of their nose. From when they move and do facial expressions all day, your makeup can gunk up in those fine lines. Some people put it all over their forehead so it doesn't bunch together and settle up in fine lines up there. Under your eyes is not only a good place for when you're applying eyeshadow and it catches the fallout, but also from smiling and your eyes moving all the time, that crease area under there, it will prevent makeup from building up there. 
So even if you're not putting on eyeshadow and using the setting powder to catch your fallout, you can just pat, 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 and it will set your makeup in place. And it won't group together in those fine little lines under your eyes. So we are all set, except I'm going to add a little bit more under my eyes to catch the eyeshadow. This trick is a lifesaver. If you just, if you have to do your base first, please do this and it will not mess up your beautiful base that you just spent so much time working on. You can just take a big powder brush, wipe it off. Nothing ever happened. Evidence is gone. Who's ready for some shadow? I had the toughest time picking just one of her eyeshadow palettes, the big, small, the matte and melted cream eyeshadow sticks. Oh my gosh. These are all of her obsession palettes, mini palettes that I really, really enjoy. Some of them actually I haven't even got to use yet, but they are stunning. Here is her nude, new, new palette. And then I also have the Mercury Retrograde palette. It is a stunning package. I haven't even taken that off yet. So I'm trying to decide which one to use. Let me open these up for y'all so y'all can see exactly what they look like. These are her palettes. Her mini palettes, the Obsessions. This is her Retrograde. I've played with that a couple of times. It is beautiful. It also has a couple of mattes in there, a couple of everyday colors, which I can really appreciate. And this is the new nude palette. It is stunning, and I'm kind of leaning towards this. I love all the neutrals and soft pinks and browns and mauves in there. And we also have some banging, really popping colors that I feel like I'd have a lot of fun with. But I settled on, okay, wait. I didn't settle. I decided on her new nude palette. I think these colors are absolutely stunning. They're florally and soft, but also have a couple shades in there that could really pack a punch. The shimmer, she's got um, pressed glitters in here. This is actually here to use as a base, like a eyeshadow primer. That was smart of her to put it in a palette. Hmm? These colors actually remind me like I think they would make a good wedding palette. They're florally soft and you could put a little shimmer in there. I love it, but we're gonna do kind of a bold look, bright. We're definitely going to use these. This is Excite and this is Infatuated. They are screaming at me. We have to use those. Um, I think what I want to do is go in with this shade here, Tickle, and we're going to put that uh, and we're going to use that as our crease shade. I'm going to take my crease brush from It Brushes. This is 320. And remember, we did put concealer on our eyes already. You could always add more for good measure, but I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to bring it up because I have hooded eyes. Oh, that's pretty. Let me just show you real quick on this eye what my shadow looks like if I don't bring it up above my crease. Going right into the crease there. Just quickly, I want to show you so y'all don't think I'm absolutely crazy. And that is without pulling the eyeshadow up. It's embarrassing. <laughs> But just so y'all know, I am not crazy. There's a reason why I go above my crease. Not every eye shape has to do that, of course. Okay, next, I'm kind of debating between these two colors right here. This is Love Bite and this is Spanked. I think I want to go in with Spanked on my Morphe M431. And I'm going to start at my lash line in the center of my eye and bring it up just to create a slight soft wing. Just a small one. Okay. 
gonna bring it around blend it into that crease shade tickle okay we're getting somewhere now for the fun exciting sparkly glitters in there i think i want to take infatuated this lighter glitter shade right here and i want to put that on the innermost corner of my eye i've got a tea tiny little crease brush this is from urban decay it is the f111 i am going to spray it with mac fix plus and really pick it up on my brush yeah that's a good amount just on the inner part okay i can already tell this is a glitter that is going to go on better with your finger but i'll keep applying let me go in with the other color and then i'm just going to go back in with my finger and really pack it on so the next brush i'm going to go into is bigger it's a little bit wider and also a little more dense this is also an urban decay brush it is the e210 i'm going to spray it down as well and we're going to pick up on this rosier color right here excite okay let's dive right in and i'm going to put this on the center of my lid Well, it went on better with that brush. That's definitely packed on better than the other brush did. But I'm gonna go in with my finger anyway and pick up Infatuate. The inner corner of my eye. That's better. And then I'm gonna take a different finger and go in with Excite and pack it on on the center of my lid. We are looking sparkly. It's exciting. Makeup makes me happy. Next, I'm going to go in with a Morphe M433. It is a small, fluffier brush. We're going to go into the shade Play right here. Put it on our brow bone to blend everything in. Actually, let me go back in with our crease color Tickle and pull it up a little more right here. There we go. Okay, she's coming together slowly but surely. Stick with me, guys. I'm gonna take a powder brush from Pat McGrath and wipe this powderage off. And I'm going to go in with this flathead brush from It Brushes. This is the 138 placement brush, placement, placement shadow brush. And we are going to go into Tickle for the last time and smoke out right under our bottom lash line. Right, I am going to stop with the smoking out in the middle of my eye because that makes your eye appear more open as to where if you would go and smoke it out all the way to the corner of your eye, it would make your eyes appear a little more closed, kind of more sultry, which will be great for like date night or girls night out, but I want to have my eyes looking vibrant and awake. I am all about that if you haven't noticed. Okay, I am going to hop off camera and touch up my brows. She does not have any brow products yet. I'm sure one day she will come out with some fantastic brow products for everybody. But until then, I got to put my brows on the way I normally would. Um, but she does have lashes, of course. These are the Samantha lashes. Just so y'all know, they are Huda Beauty. And of course, I am also going to be applying those lashes with my Huda Beauty Lash Glue. I'll be right back.
Okay, eyebrows are on. We've got one lash on. We've dusted away our powder. I will go ahead and throw on the other lash and we will go to the next step. You should always let your last glue dry a little bit before you apply so that way it is a little more tacky and it's not slipping and sliding all over your eyelid, messing up your eyeshadow and not sticking where you want it. And just like that, our lashes are on. These, I'll be honest, they're a little bit bigger than I would normally go for. Um, I do like them. I think they're pretty dramatic, maybe for a girls night out or something, but normally I would go for something that looks a little more natural, that kind of has that winged cat eye look, but these are beautiful. Okay, next, she does not have blush, but I was looking through her matte and melted eyeshadow sticks, and I thought we might could do something with this shade. This is Silk Balmer. We are going to see if this will work as a blush. Here we go. That is... Okay, let me just blend this out. What do we think? Is it gonna work? Let me do the other side. Ooh, that was a bigger dot. Uh-oh. Did it work? I think it did. We look a little a little rosy, a little purpley. No, I think it's it's subtle. I'm, that worked. Hey, hey, there you go. You can use a cream eyeshadow if you don't have a blush. Two in one. Okay, next we have the lips. And I have this lip pencil from Huda. It is in the shade Wifey. I've got this lipstick that I haven't even used yet. And then all of these colors, including this little purple, for glosses. Well, some are matte and some are glosses. And one of my subscribers, Hey Girl, mentioned uh, with one of my other looks, it was a bold makeup on a rainy day. I had a bold eye look and then I used this bright, corally red lipstick. And her and I both agreed that that was, it was just too much for one look and that we would have used a neutral color instead. I totally, that is my thought exactly. So I think today we are going to go in with a neutral color. Let's go with a soft, let's go in with Crush. We'll give it a go. And this is for you, girl. I hope you like it. Yeah, because this lipstick is, that's, a little too dark for what I was wanting. I like the color, just not for this look. It's beautiful. How cool is that look? It's magnetic. It's a cool little feature. Okay, lining the lips with Wifey. Cool little tip. If you put on a little bit of chapstick, before applying lip liner, the application process is so much smoother. Okay, and now we're going in with wifey, no, crush. These go on super liquidy. But dry down matte. What do we think of the lips? Is it too much? Is that everything? Except for the freaking foundation. I'm so sorry. I didn't think, I mean, it doesn't look that crazy light. So that was my bad guys. We made it work with the concealer though. 
We sculpted our faces. We are glammed up and ready to go. Oh, I was kind of hoping I'd forget this part. This is her resting boss face setting spray. Does it work? Oh yeah. If you're smiling and you spray this on your face, you're going to be smiling all day. It holds, but the smell, it is so strong. And like I mentioned before, the foundation has a scent. The setting powder has a scent. This has a scent, the strongest scent of them all. Uh, I just think it's too much scent wise. Like I don't mind a soft, subtle smell. I love things that smell good, but it's, it's too much. I'm telling you, if you have this stuff, you understand, but for the sake of the video and for you guys, this is what it mists like. Here goes. And just like that, we have a full face minus the foundation of Huda Beauty. What do you guys think? Do you think she delivered? Is she looking beautiful? Are you looking beautiful? Are you feeling beautiful today? I hope so, because you look good to me. I hope you like the lip color this time. Draggy, I hope I'm saying that correctly. If not, I am so sorry. Don't kill me. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of the lashes and the pop of pink eyeshadow. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.